what's going on guys first of all before we get started there's a couple announcements i want to make number one happy birthday mom happy birthday love you um number two i am posting this video at 2 p.m eastern time eastern time zone eastern time united states um and if you're watching it within six seven eight hours of, of when this is posted what that means is that we are currently live on twitch.tv slash wolfyvgc slash nothing um for the pokemon wolf lick sword and shield super smash brothers invitational so um yeah if you uh want to come support that or you want to see some high level gameplay from some of the biggest names in the smash community including mutual king ludwig plop and others um come support it's gonna be good anyway today so last night i don't know what possessed me the spirit of dracovish was around me and um and i i had in my head a lot of people were talking about my hero academia which is um a popular show because there was a, there was an episode that was released yesterday and i'm not going to spoil that episode in this video um i may i'm going to allude to it but i won't spoil it um so the rest of this video is safe for you if you watched my hero um if you haven't watched my hero and you are planning on watching it uh at some point probably click off this video now i do not want to spoil anything for anybody but assuming that you have seen this show and assuming you know about dracovish i had it in my head who would win izuku midoriya aka deku or dracovish the question that everyone's been asking and i am here scientifically and factually to answer it for the people for you good people for the people okay um so when i was thinking about how i wanted to approach this there was a couple different uh things that i considered um I thought that it wouldn't quite be fair for me to cover only one form of uh, Deku because he, he, he actually, you know, he exists in several different uh, forms throughout the show. He has form changes just like Pokemon or he evolves just like Pokemon. So, um, so I figured, okay, let's go through all forms of Deku versus Dracovish and talk about who would win. So just to start it off, this is a very easy one. Baby Deku versus Dracovish. This is not a contest at all. Uh, Dracovish destroys destroys Baby Deku in this in this form. Um, it's really not close, and I feel kind of bad about it. Baby Deku has no quirk, uh, and he has no ability, and he, he doesn't even have. He has confidence sometimes, but like it depends on when you're talking, and even then, like I don't know. He has heart, but that's not enough versus Dracovish. So Dracovish's vicious rend um, is a very powerful base move. It has 170 base power. Deku's low level, first of all. Uh, he's not going to have any bulk. His defenses are not good. He doesn't have any, any offenses. There's really no way for him to win this. I don't really want to talk too much about it. I feel like it makes sense. Next up, we have, uh, we have, like, early, early, early school Deku, okay? Early school Deku. Okay, so th this form of Deku, let's say it's after he's gotten, okay, teenage Deku, before he gets, uh, the quirk, before he gets one for all, doesn't same same thing as baby deku he's just older he's still not very good so let's talk about let's talk about early early high school deku actually fine we'll talk about i think this one is he's not using his quirk okay this is like early deku not using his quirk or even if he is using his quirk so he at this point in the show first of all if he doesn't know if he's not using his quirk same thing as baby deku he doesn't have a chance like he just gets totally totally destroyed okay um really really not close at all i don't really want to talk too much about it let's say he is using his quirk Here's the thing, he he can hit very hard, um, or he can move very fast, but only for short bursts. So that's kind of the thing. And then he's just he's kind of like not very strong at all. And also he's very he doesn't know how to use it, so he's very reluctant um, to even try. It. So with that in mind, um, even though he can hit pretty hard, if he hits, uh, he like he's he's just he's just not very good at using his quirk and so he needs to make sure he gets a one hit knockout which is really tough because dracovish is actually pretty fast um i don't know what deku's base speed is once he uses his ability um but i he, he would need to he like in order to actually beat dracovish he would need to hit it with like a, he would need to basically sacrifice his his legs in order to get close and his arms um and just based on how he fights i feel like he would not um immediately go for like the one hit KO, I feel like he'd be trying to like try to be more reactive. And if he gets hit with the Fish's Ren, it's over. Okay, it's a one hit KO on Deku. There's no way he survives. 170 base power boosted by Strong Jaw. Deku doesn't have a Water type resistance, even though he looks like he'd be a Grass type. He's not. Um, he's definitely either a Normal type or a Fighting type, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, and he does not resist Water, and he doesn't have an ability that helps him. So um, he also does not wear a Sash, so he does not have the Focus Sash. We can confirm this. Um, 
So yeah, he just gets he just gets rolled, honestly. Uh, now, okay, let's take a minute to talk about Dragovich. So I've gone to Cerebi.com, Cerebi, uh, sorry, Cerebi.net, uh, and I went through the Pokédex descriptions. Let's read the Pokédex descriptions for Dragovich, because I think that's going to be relevant going forward. <clears throat> Powerful legs and jaws make it made it the apex predator of its time. Its own overhunting of its prey was what drove it to extinction. Dragovich hunted its prey so much that it became extinct. Now, that might that's kind of just flavor text. I'm actually more interested in the shield description. Its mighty legs are capable of running at speeds exceeding... Oops, wait, hang on. Wait, come off shirts. Or, like, I don't know. Come off. Exceeding 40 miles per hour. This Pokemon can breathe when it's underwater. So, something we have to consider at some point, and we're going to talk about this in a little bit, is what is the terrain of which these two are fighting? Because Deku actually does pretty well in short and, like, in small enclosed spaces um, where he can, like, bounce off walls and stuff uh, at a later for me. But, uh... Yeah, and Dracovish obviously does well in the water, so I think we should assume a neutral terrain. Anyway, keep in mind that 40 miles per hour. So, next up, I want to talk about Sports Festival uh, Deku. At this point, he's a little bit more used to using his quirk. Um, he also is more willing to destroy his body. Um, so, in this form, he does get a projectile where he destroys his fingers. This is really difficult. Hang on. How do I do this? Um, he gets access to a projectile attack where he destroys his fingers, basically, in order to, um, in order to fire off projectiles. However, so he tries to use this against, uh, against Iceman, Todoroki, uh, and it, it, he doesn't even win the fight, although he does do a good job. Um, he also, like, is willing to just, he, like, he, yeah, he just basically is willing to destroy his body, and he's much more reckless in this for me. This, this is probably the first, the first fight where it becomes a little bit closer. Dracovish still wins, because, again, Dracovish gets one hit on this guy, and it's over. But, okay, let's say that, let's say that, let's say that Midoriya knows this, right? He knows that he cannot let Dracovish get a single attack off on him, okay? I don't- I, I feel like Dracovish has decent bulk. It depends on- of course, a lot of it depends on how Dracovish is trained, but even still, Dracovish being able to run at 40 miles per hour is gonna make it really, really hard, I think, for Deku to hit him. Um, 40 miles per hour is quite fast, and Dracovish has, like, a huge brain. It's very intelligent. So I've left. I have a few left. Um, so for that reason, I feel like- at this, in this form, if- if Deku gets a hit, it might be close. Uh, it might be close, but I just don't see- the thing is that I don't see how he can get a hit, because he still has to... It's still the same problem for him, where he needs to sacrifice, like, legs and arms in order to, like, actually get in. And even though he gets a projectile, I don't feel like it would be that difficult for Dracovich to dodge. Um, if you're able to run at speeds of 40 miles per hour, I feel like you can draw, you can dodge, like, flying-type range attacks. And, um, yeah, the thing is that every... He, like, even if... I feel like even if Dracovich gets hit with a fly... Or, like, with, like, a finger flick... I don't think it will be a one. I'm, you know, I'm confident in saying it won't be a one shot. Dragovish is too high a bulk to be, like, one, like you have to be a pretty like. I guess for reference, in order to like one shot Dragovish with a flying type attack, you need to first of all you need to be Dynamax. So like in terms of regular Pokemon that can Oko Dragovish with like a flying type attack or even like a like Aura Sphere, there's no Pokemon in the game which can Oko Dragovish with Aura Sphere. I think like unboosted. Um, and even if you want to say okay, like using the quirk gives Deku plus two or like you know even if it's plus six. Um, there are still ways around it, right? And, and you also need to hit. It's clearly not Aura Sphere because you need to hit. So let's say let's say Vacuum Wave. Like, okay, so let's actually... You know what we're going to do here is we're actually going to pull up the couch. Let's say... So we, do, we think, do we think Deku is stronger than Lucario in base form, right? Let's say it's plus six, which is the highest, the most boosted you can go. And keep in mind... So let's see. Does Timid Lucario... He's definitely Timid, first of all. Um, vacuum Wave versus Dracovish at plus six. If Dracovish... First of all, it's a roll. Even if he hits one, it's a roll. And even, even still... It's not a very good roll, it's not even in his favor, and so, with this in mind, I don't think there's any way that, that base Midoriya is stronger than base Lucario, unboosted. Um, so, with that in mind, I think there's pretty much, yeah, he wouldn't, he, there's no way he would get one shot, um, and, yeah, so I, I think given that, given that we know that he won't get, he won't even get one shot, even if he lands a finger flick, and a single hit of Ficious Ren will KO. Midoriya, even if Dracovish moves second and he's launched the finger flick first, there's no way, okay? There's just no way. Second of all, okay, so, so I also wanted to talk about the speed here, because we talked about being 40 miles per hour. This is, um, this is, I always say the name wrong, I think it's, I think it's, we'll just call him Tenya. Um, I always say the name wrong, but basically, con they concluded that one of the faster characters in the show, in the, in like his, not like maximum speed for me, but like, basically his, his regular fast for me is thir less than 40 miles per hour. So even the character built it to be like pretty fast, um, like, very fast, like, the guy whose whole point is speed, even he is slower than Dracovish, and this is a scene in the sports festival where he uses, like, his, his superpower 
his uh, Recipro Burst, and he outspeeds Deku and takes the thing. And as you can see, Deku's just not prepared for the speed at all. So um, he just gets totally, totally rolled here by just by the increase in speed. And this isn't even a guy who's supposed to be like the fast and powerful. Um, this is just like this is just speed man. And you can see by Deku's expression that he is not he is not prepared for this level of this level of speed um, at all. So yeah, um, keep in mind that is that is definitely faster than 40 miles per hour. Um, however. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, the guy doesn't even have any power. So I think that it's clear that he has a weakness to, to quick things, and, um, yeah. Talking about that, talk about that. Okay, now we can talk about just, like, his general base stats. Um, we, wait, where is it here? So this is on the Boku no Hero Academia.fandom.com slash Fuki slash Izuku underscore Midoriya. Um, they talk about his popularity. Ah, so his 50 meter dash record is 7 seconds. Um, he, his grip strength is 56 uh, kilograms. And his softball throw is 705 with his quirk. It's 46 with his quirk. At this point, his quirk destroys his body, so or uses it with a finger, I guess. Um, you can just see that he's very weak. Dracovish's 50 meter dash speed is a million. Its grip strength record is uh, 1 million kilograms, and his softball throw record is the ball never came back. Okay. Um, next up, we can talk about full cowling, uh, Midoriya. So at this point. Midoriya can increase his, like, basically his overall capacity pretty much. I went on Reddit, and I found somebody who said, um, 21 point, oh, don't, don't look at that, don't look at that. Hang on. There's some spoilers, there's some spoilers in that one, so if you, if you don't want to be spoiled about, like, at least with something, actually, no, I'm pretty sure he's used this before. Well, anyway, just in case, if you're concerned about spoilers, just pause the video and skip ahead for a while. Um, anyway, if you're not concerned about spoilers, basically, long story short, he says that, uh, he says that at 5%, Midoriya can run at 21.6 kilometers per hour. That's what you need to get from that. I'll close out. That's 13.42 miles per hour. That is one at 5%, and he gets super powered up. He is a fourth as fast as Dracovish. And keep in mind, all we know is that Dracovish's speed is lower bounded 40 miles per hour. It's, I think, right? Is it at least? Exceeding 40 miles per hour. So, Dracovish is, like, is, is significantly faster. He's like four times faster, probably. Three to four times faster than this Midoriya. Um, yeah. Basically, even in, even at his increased speed, he's still one-fourth as fast as Dracovish, and I think that should give you some idea of like how the previous fights would go if you weren't already convinced. This is like his new, this is like later in the series, this is like one of his powered up forms, and he's still really, really slow relative to Dracovish. Um, so, with that in mind, I don't know. Like, this, even at 5%, He's so he's so slow compared to Dracovish, and again, Dracovish being so much faster, even in Tailwind, Midoriya has no chance of outspeeding Dracovish. Even with Tailwind and a Choice Scarf, even then he would still be too slow to outspeed Dracovish. Um, having only a, a, like approximately, because Pokemon truncates, he would only hit uh, 39 miles per hour, whereas Dracovish hits 40. So um, we can probably infer his base speed from that if we really want to do the calculations, but I don't really want to do the calculations if we like to do it in advance. So yeah. Last but not least, we have. Um, I actually forgot this one was. Who's this? Okay, more powered up Midoriya. So in the in basically, I didn't choose an exact screenshot because I didn't I didn't really want to spoil. But basically, in the new episode of My Hero Academia, My Hero Dracovish, um, Midoriya powers up again, and I don't want to give too much away. Um, and you might say, Wow, well, okay, this one, this one, he can beat Dracovish. No, he still cannot beat Dracovish because here's what you need to know. In the new episode of My Hero Academia, Midoriya. Keep in mind what type is Midoriya. He's definitely not Dark type. In the new episode of My Hero Academia, Midoriya basically becomes very, very strong. Deku becomes very strong, and we love that for him. Good job, Deku. You did a good job. However, he has he has some assistance, and I don't want to give too much away, but basically, he's not fighting one against one. He's fighting two against one, and in, if this were a match, um, if this were an official match, if he had a partner, then Dracovish would also have a partner, and as long as there was enough prep time, which I think is fair to assume, it would be pretty easy for Dracovish to bring a partner with Quash, for example, and as we know, Deku does not is not immune to Prankster moves. Prankster always moves first. Midoriya's moves has, at this phase, like at this point, he is faster than Dracovish. I will give you that, right? However, he cannot sustain it without his partner who is aiding him. Um, and if he has a partner, then Dracovish can also have a partner. Dracovish Sableye is like a super hard counter to Midoriya and his partner. At this point, Quash plus Vicious Ren, because at this point, Midoriya significantly increases. He's like Zen mode, right? He, he like significantly increases his speed. He significantly increases his attack power. Um, but his defenses do not improve. His defenses do not improve, and in fact, they actually become worse in a sense um, because he's damaging his body and using this form. So even if he can, um, even if he can, uh, like 
you know, one shot. He need, he can't he cannot sustain this form at this time without assistance. And so, fine, give him the assistance, give him what he had in, in the anime. I have not read the manga, so we're not talking about manga stuff. Give him what he had in the anime. He still gets rolled, because as long as there's a partner, right, he, like, Dragovich is super okos. Um, and, okay, let's say he, let's say, let's just pretend, like, he could, he could sustain this for me, okay? He could sustain this without assistance. He would still lose, because all you have to do is give Dracovish a Focus Sash. Pokemon is a turn-based game. And the thing is, Midoriya, he doesn't have, he doesn't really use projectiles at this, at this, uh, stage. And if he gets hit even once, even once with Ficious Rent, even if he's not, even if Dracovish is not moving first, his bulk is not good. He, he gets one shot. It's pretty simple. So, um, I think Strong Jaw, Ficious Ren, Dracovish is a pretty hard counter to Deku. It, like, so you might need Focus Sash at some point. We didn't really talk about Choice Scarf, um, because most of the time, you, like, and on all of his forms, you don't even need Choice Scarf to outspeed, and you don't need Choice Band either, um, because you're already Okoing, so, um, yeah. So I think Focus Sash, if you're going up against Deku, then I think Focus Sash is probably your best bet. Um, you could, if you're worried about, like, in-between forms, or if you you think maybe, like, they have good partner support with Tailwind or Trick Room, you can consider other items, um, but I think overall, Focus Hash is, is really good, unless you want to run Room Service, um, but yeah, pretty much this is not close at all, Dracovish just totally, totally washes Deku, and, uh, even in his most powered up form, he needs a, he needs a buff, and, um, as long as Dracovish is a partner and the partner is smart, like, it's pretty much over, even a Follow Me partner would probably be good, like, even though, like, Midoriya is super strong at this uh, in this form, he's still using Fighting type attacks, so, like, Togekiss, who four times resists fighting, I think that would be a pretty solid counter. Um, yeah. <sighs> so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching my video on uh, who would win Draco Vicious versus Midoriya. As you can see, I'm very good at th this kind of video. So if you want to see more of, of these hypothetical battles... Actually, let me know which Pokemon versus which fictional character you'd like me to do next. I don't know. If, I, I have a feeling people are going to hate this video. But if they don't, if you don't and you want to see more of them, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, come support the Invitational. Anyway, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Let's go. Hashtag DC Dracovish. Wait, I forgot. I'm selling merch. I totally forgot. I knew it was very something. I'm selling merch. DC Dracovish merch. It's super sick. Please support. I'll have the link in the, in the comments down below. Okay, well, I think that's it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.